Guys, I believe KZ Chiefs might have signed to coach Nazrutin Nabi and yes, I do believe that he's coming to Nashorena. But before, before a lot of you are an attacker, before you jump me to everything, I have a lot and lot of proof of why I'm saying this. But of course, before seeing energy in terms of all those proof and everything, fever, please do make sure to like a video or subscribe if you are new here and also click a bell notification so that when next time i post a new video you get notified now guys a few days ago i believe i did a video about uh, umazola j mulefe reporting that case the chiefs uh, have acquired the services of uh old coach Nazarene nabi and he was leading the list uh so there have been coaches that have been linked with case chiefs the only coach available kulumang i so far that we knew of was coach alexander santos and then later on they moved to uh old coach Nazarene nabi i believe that's why diliabo with coach alexander santos did not go through because because KZ Chiefs had other plans in mind and now currently as I'm speaking with you there's been a lot a lot of information some is confusing and yeah we here today to talk about everything like all of that and then spawn uh slanganisa wopi na wopi and what's like the verdict but also there's just a little bit of one tiny nyana problem nyana but we will get into that later on the video so first things first Lorenzo Kole reported through EID times that case chiefs are in the final stages of negotiations with unabi to secure my services work okay, of course and there's been some names that have been drawn there like the we've heard that uh, his current assistant coach is Khalil Ben Youssef. I'm not sure about the spelling of the name. Uh, they say he used to work with him at I Ilona Iyanga. He was an analyst and I think he will join him as a second assistant and then uh, he has a goalkeeper coach who is Alice Muzoha it's hard guys sorry i'm not uh, very good with pronouncing those names but i'm trying and then there's also oh majid safi uh they say he worked with the white dead neraja casablanca so he is gonna be replacing oh muzimalileke as the strength and conditioning coach and they say they say uh the talks are ongoing and then obviously they are waiting for a highly experienced uh, assistant coach so that uh he can add to the technical steve and another analyst which will bring like i think six members to case the chiefs next season so a lot of people a lot of people will be running out of jobs La and uh the I, like I said on my previous video, Oguti, as I was talking with the Cameroon, Oguti, I see a reshuffling. I see like there's going to be a lot of changes uh, within Enashurena. So I believe we do have to say goodbye to the likes of Abu Moze Maluleke because if coach Nazuddin Nabi is coming with his own uh, strength and conditioning coach, then definitely Abu uh, Moze Maluleke will be out of a job. I can tell us he ends up in Enashurena and the contract here, okay, I think it's, it's, it's roughly there. It's, it's about to end. So there's that's one person we know it's okay. Definitely Ichaile Akinjo Manju coach nabi is coming home and another one we do have to talk about to dilenshe but now he's one of those people because if he's an assistant coach then definitely and there's also i'm an assistant that that our uh, chiefs has i forgot the names but there's assistant you can remind me down in the comment section below and now i believe msebenzwake or wabo it's coming to an end because uh Unabi wants what he wants so definitely uh, it's, it's going to be war guys it's going to be war and yeah a lot of changes are going to happen and in terms of former players still there's nothing but so far it looks like uh KZ Chiefs is preparing for a preseason they will start with their preseason uh managing it 20 Ziga June so I don't know what's going to happen in terms of those players whose contracts are coming to an end uh month and before month and i think actually somewhere around there and i don't know who's going to be coaching the boys leading them to e preseason yeah but the preseason matches because currently we know that our coach Nazarin nabi is still at morocco um services obviously they're negotiating but is that side and they're finalizing the deal as we speak and there's something uh, that he said himself he said uh, he's going to speak with uh e 
that like the head of e the club that he is currently working at which is as far rabbit and according to his words this is what he said the south african offer was not the only one but rather i received several offers but i will have a meeting with the team president to talk about this issue i am currently focusing on the cup semi-final match against maghreb fez i tried to raise the morale of the players and told them that there is still a chance to win said coach nabi now actually guys i don't know what's going to happen in terms of the preseason matches because obviously uh case shifts they need to do something they cannot have players sitting and not doing anything but we will see i don't know whether they are going to wait for uh nabi to come or something is going to happen i don't know but i'm a date they don't correspond because a match is going to be played on the 23 of uh june and then this side precedes in yet i'm managing 20 so yeah like there's a lot it's confusing there's a, there's a lot that is happening and so far we know that uh, yes far bet they've decided to reinstate uh oh coach that they had previously initially before all coach nazar and nabi joined uh their team and if you remember correctly when we reported we said that uh opel we and also obab keza motawong are the ones leading uh the talks with uh coach nazar and nabi so i believe i believe uh they've gone all out and yeah they want to do things and lela if so we, we 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 have to thank Kubobi Bafi too, even though I know a lot of people don't like Kubobi, we have been fighting and saying all bad sort of bad things about him, saying Guti he's not uh no uh doing the right job, he's the, the like the one who's causing the failures in Azure and uh, all of those sort of things. But so far it looks like he is the one uh, who helped with the negotiations and he's the one who fought alongside Babaki to make sure that they secure the services of Unasreddin Nabi and a lot of people uh, will be out of jobs unfortunately but so far we we, we, we do believe and I think that's what case Jeeves are believing also Oguti. Uh, coach Nasreddin Nabi and Staff Sake are the ones who are going to turn things around Buffet to come on it's been a while uh, 10 years without lifting any trophy and finishing like 10th in 10th place we leak come on guys we need we need a change we need a change so at least if coach Nabi uh, is the right man to do the job was at Magafiga uh, he will do the things that uh, he thinks must be done and help out Keiza Chiefs and I don't think there's a coach who's going to say no to Keiza Chiefs because I remember I remember even Benny McCarthy the first time they they asked him about Keiza Chiefs actually they asked Agent Tiaki and he said uh Keiza Chiefs is not ready for me they're not ready for him uh they still need to do a lot of things wara 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 but to take my Bono to K Amalanga Sawasondele Bamboza in terms of uh, this coaching job, he said yes, he will definitely jump on it. So even no coach Peter, guys, even coach Peter Naye, he has shown interest to Guti Naye, he will jump on the project. So there's no coach in the world who will say no to Keiza Chiefs, unless obviously by a Kulumesana and they don't agree. Uh, my terms, just like they did be before last season, our oh, last of last, last season with the coach Nabi, and they couldn't agree with um my attempts so yeah let's hope let's hope Oguti. uh this is gonna be like the most exciting season coming back and we hope we hope to see case chiefs being back at the top and being strong as the team that we all knew and fell in love with well i believe this is it in Bogeli. thank you guys thank you so much for watching until the end uh kumbule kumbule mbogeli Oguti kosi will rise again